My name is Epos Vox, and today I'll be discussing the master copy capabilities of the Elgato Game Capture HD software for most of their devices. I will have other tutorials on Elgato's capture cards and a plethora of other technology topics up on my channel, so be sure to subscribe if you find this video helpful, and check the YouTube card above or description below for a playlist with my other Elgato gaming related videos. Let's get into it. A common concern of those trying to use other streaming programs like XSplit or OBS is that they want to be able to stream with their overlays and other stream accessories, but record just the gameplay for YouTube. In those programs, you can't. But in your Elgato Game Capture HD software, you actually have complete control over how the final recordings turn out, even when you're doing a live stream. As long as you have a master copy compatible device, which is currently all available game capture devices except the HD60S. You can actually record your webcam and stream overlays, live commentary, audio, etc., to separate files to not use or edit in your video program. It's pretty awesome. You need to edit these settings before exporting your recordings, however. Head back to that gear icon in the top right hand corner of the software that we're now oh so familiar with. This time, click on the Sharing tab. Here is where we will customize your export layers. First and foremost, if you plan on doing any tweaking to your recordings or how they export, go ahead and make sure always convert new videos to mp4 file is unchecked. Otherwise, it will immediately spit out a file as soon as you're done recording. You don't really want that. Below this, we have two sections of check boxes, which tracks you want mixed into the gameplay recorded file when you export a video, and which tracks you want exported to separate files. You can customize this however you like. The key thing to remember is that anything checked in the second set of boxes will export separate files that you have to add back in during video editing, and anything checked in the first set of boxes will be hard-coded on top of your gameplay when you export your video. For example, if you just want your core gameplay file, you need to uncheck all of the boxes. If you want to mix everything yourself in editing, uncheck everything in the first set of boxes and check all of the second set of boxes. If you're streaming music by Elgato Sound Capture, but you don't want that to go into your final recording, you can check webcam slash overlays and live commentary audio in the mix to export section, but then either leave Elgato Sound Capture unchecked or check it under the separate files section. This is a very powerful function of the Elgato Game Capture HD software, and you have complete control. Combine this with the stream command capabilities, and you have one of the best streaming and recording platforms there is. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, go Duke Nukem on that like button. Get subscribed for more awesome tech videos and check out the description down below. There I have a link to the playlist with all of my Elgato tutorials and reviews, so check those out. I also have product links to each Elgato card if you're looking to buy one. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial series and I'll see you in the next video. My name's Adam Maripos Vox, have a great one. <gasps>